three planters. Except that this one you don't have to dig. Oh. Yes. And you might also want, remember, they are tagged. So you might want to remember the tag number. Oh, that's right. So that a couple of months from now or years, you go back to visit the clam that you have actually seen. And you can say, yes, that's my clam. Right? And you will also notice that we have a way of measuring them. So this is something that you might want to do each time you come here, you visit your clam, measure it, and oh, it's grown. Uh, Will we have a form, like a form to write down, this is clam uh, number? They would have recorded all of those things, the measurements, the tag numbers, and all that. So they did that for us. Okay. They made our jobs easier. Right? Essentially, we just carry the clam, put them there. Right? Remember, during the orientation, we have to make sure that they are in a stable substrate, not on the sand. They have to be elevated a little bit. If you could find natural depression or basis where they will be comfortable. Right. Crevices, well, yes, as long as the crevices are big, you don't like to stick yeah. them in because they have to open up, remember, and then they have to grow. Right. Avoid caves. They need a lot of sunshine and clear water and a lot of loving care from the diver. So yes, you have to be standing up or when they're yeah, standing. They yeah. Are, yeah. When do we burp the clam? Oh, when you get them, uh, before you set them down, you have to, you will notice that there are two openings, a smaller one, and a longer opening. So that's an inhalant aperture and the exhalant aperture. Especially that's where they suck in the water because they're filled with feeders and then they expel it on the other side. Okay, so normally you have to turn it so that on the higher part will be the bigger opening. Okay. Essentially you just have to make sure that there's no air trapped inside. And if there is some air you have to coax the air out simply by stroking. It's not you know, <laughs> gently stroking or simply positioning it until the bubbles come out. Okay, then they will be okay. Of course, there, 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 there's no rule that says that you cannot pet them. Yes, your fingers. Please watch your fingers. Uh, oh, and remember, uh, we, we told everybody you have to have gloves. And during the briefing, we'll also be using the meat bag. So we'll make it easier for you. Uh, in each team, we will have two of our divers who will be assisting you. So they, for the bigger clams, we will have to use a lift bag. So for the smaller clams, you can easily handle them. But one, make sure before you get the clam, you inflate your DC. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you could equalize fast. Right, but yes, inflate your BC. Right? And then you may hold it by your, well, well, we will have the clam bag, so it's easier. You don't have to use your two hands, but rather you will have a bag so you can carry them until you find the spot that, okay, this looks good. And then, then drop you set it. it down. <laughs> they, oh, set them down. Don't forget, you plane your PC. Okay, you plane your PC before you let go. There goes the diver. All right, and then you open the bag, scoop them out, put them where you think they will do well. So one clam per person or two? How many? At time? How many will you? Okay, uh, we will divide. We have uh, 79 clams. The big ones, we, these are the breeders. And they're quite heavy. We'll be the ones to deploy them. They'll be the last. They're going to be the patriarchs or some patriarchs. So they'll be the last ones. So we'll start with the smaller ones. They're about, on the average, they're about 30 to 35 centimeters. So they're the ones that we're going to do. They're, they're easy to handle also. Okay. But usually you should have two people helping each other or one by one? One by one. Well, uh, if, if it's a small family, you could easily have them. Yeah. One, one diver, one family. So each time we set one family, we go back. You go back to the boat. Is there a limitation how close to a part they are? Like, if my clan is here, how far? But uh, for purposes of reproduction, we'd like them to be close to each other. Oh, you do? Yeah. Okay. First, first How far apart? Uh, okay, uh, well, we do. <laughs> the purchase is basically chemical signals. Yeah. Right? So they don't have to be beside each other. They don't even have to touch each other. They don't even have to know each other. They just spawn in and they say, to whom it may concern. <laughs> well, that's how nature decides. So, yeah. so, uh, Tiger Woods. <laughs> Tiger Woods again. I still can't believe it. Sorry. 
because remember it's a cone. Yeah. So when they spawn, the, the sperm and legs will just be in this cone. Right? Uh, so we don't have to put them right beside each other. Uh, we want to spread them. Uh, okay. Now, in each microsite, we will have a buoy. It doesn't mean that where you have the buoy ties, that's where you put it. No, that simply marks the spot. Now, going back to the question, how many do we put in one site? It depends. In some of the sites, we could use, put about four, five. As for the other sites, if it's a wider area, we could put as much as ten. So we will be there and we'll see how it goes. Okay? Uh, we want to make sure everybody will have a chance to bring down your own plan. Uh, often, uh, we have, we're looking about 75, the four ones are the breeders, which will handle ourselves. So we have about 75 clams that we will see grow up the week. How many sites do we uh, We mark 11, although we're going to limit it to 10. Probably 7, one. 7, 6, 7 per yeah, site. Six to seven. Well, like you said, depends. There are some sites, so we think it's not very much Okay, okay. Okay, so that's the reason why we will have the dive, two divers with one. Uh, What's the recommended space? Yes, we will have the lift back. Uh, okay. uh, for the bigger and heavier clam, we will have bigger clam bags. We will have bags. But for most of the 60 clams that are smaller, you could handle them yourself. Just inflate your VC. And, and again, a reminder before you let get them, inflate your VC before you let go. Please deflate. What's the recommended space in between? A foot, uh, uh, a meter? Your bond size ends. Yeah. Bond size ends. Uh, <laughs> After a while, we can move them the money. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, all yeah, right. The staff yeah. can move them. Oh, we can move them. It, it all depends on the terrain. Okay. okay. So it's it's not us dictating what should be, but we work with nature. Yeah. So whatever nature gives us, we work with that. So if there's a lot of depressions, then in large area, then yes. Oh, avoid slopes. Yeah. Because occasionally we do have typhoons, especially in Philippines, yeah. and when we have the waves they could topple over. Yes, uh, I noticed that there's wave action earlier, so yeah. will it be a little bit rough or no? Right where we would be? No, no only on the surface. Now let's also uh, consider during the site selection, we have small valleys well, yes. in this area. There are also crevices and caves that, and those who are, uh, please don't go into the small caves. <laughs> Okay. But, you know, yes, you could have fun. After you've done your share and you've put your class on, you want to explore, Take go ahead. Yeah. See you. Yes, later. So we put it in the, more on the coral and not in the sand. We don't put it in the sand. Uh, slightly no, above. not in the sand. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, let me explain what. If you put them on the sand, number one, it's unstable. The sand is always shifting. Yeah. Also, the sand could go inside yeah. and that irritates them. Yeah. Either that or they produce Pearls. Pearls. Wait. Ah, okay. Right. But no, it, it's not a good idea to put them in the side. Uh, now, going back to the question, what if, if there are ways, what if they turn over? Well, you know, they've survived for centuries. And essentially, if they turn down on the side, all they have to do is open up, and then they will go into the upright position. So, yes, they could take care of themselves. Better